to show you how you can always win trading options, I'm going to share a trade we did last month so you can see how to do this type of trade for yourself. Today is November 21st, and the trade I'm about to share with you is still in progress, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. However, you'll be able to follow along with me at home to see how it turns out for yourself. Here you see the trade alert I sent out to my patrons on October 31st when we entered this trade in Netflix, ticker symbol NFLX. Let me break this trade down for you so you understand exactly how to do a similar type of trade. First, here is what I saw on the chart that made me want to do this trade. As you can see at the white arrow, on October 31st, Netflix found itself trading right around the red 200 exponential moving average on this daily chart. It recently advanced from around $200 per share up to $300 per share. However, as you can see down the volume section of the purple arrow, the buyers were losing steam as can be seen by the declining volume bars. So as Netflix approached the red 200 moving average up top, the volume was decreasing because buyers were getting less and less excited to buy the stock. Also, as you can see at the white arrow, I saw that Netflix had gapped up several weeks before. That gap started around 250 per share, which also coincided with the green 50 exponential moving average on this daily chart. Because gaps tend to fill a very high percentage of the time, and with Netflix advance weakening and finding resistance around the red 200 exponential moving average, I believe that there was a very good chance that Netflix would come back down to fill the gap around 250 and test support at the green 50 exponential moving average. So going back to the title of this video, how to always win trading options. How can we structure a trade that give us an extremely high probability of winning with a very low probability of losing? Here you see the trade we did. To make it simpler for you, I'm going to break it down into its two main parts. First, you see up top in the actual snapshot of our trade in the purple boxes, what I described down in the lower section in the blue box. Notice in the blue box that I told my patrons that we bought a put butterfly in Netflix. We did that by buying the December 16th 270 put option. We then sold twice as many of the same expiration day 250 put options and bought for protection again the same expiration day December 16th 230 put option. The problem is that at this point if we just bought that put butterfly we'd be out of pocket $2.13 per share. I like to structure my trades with a very high probability of winning even if we're wrong, but I don't like to come out of pocket for those trades. I actually like to get paid for every trade we do, if at all possible. So I didn't want to come out of pocket that $2.13 per share. In order to do this entire trade for a credit, in addition to the put butterfly we bought, we also sold a bearish call credit spread. As you can see here, we did this by selling the same December 16th 355 call option and bought for protection the 410 call option. Notice that we were able to buy this put butterfly and sell the bearish call credit spread for an overall credit of 40 cents per share or we pocketed $40 minus commission. That means we were paid to enter this overall position. So what could possibly happen here? Let's first focus on what could possibly go wrong here. If Netflix continued to go up and went way up past the 355 call that we sold, then we begin to lose money on this trade. However, keep in mind that Netflix had just gone up from 250 to 300 or it had increased by 20%. In order for that short $355 call option to be challenged, Netflix would have to go up by another $55 or 18%. And that had to be on top of the already 20% that had gone up. Is that possible? Well, sure it's possible, but is it likely? I don't think it's very likely. On the other hand, what could happen if the position goes our way? Notice in the yellow box our sweet spot where we'd like Netflix to be at on December 16th. If we stay in this position through December 16th, which isn't very likely, but if we did, and Netflix was in this yellow box, this could turn into a very profitable position for us. If Netflix ended up at our short put option strike price of 250, then the long put option we own at 270 would be worth $20 per share because it'd be $20 in the money. Is that likely to happen? Well, no, I don't think it's very likely. However, I believe the odds are in our favor that it could end up somewhere close to our sweet spot or close to our box. That would enable us to close this position out for a profit, possibly even a very large profit, if Netflix is close to 250. Now today is November 21st, so I actually entered this trade about three weeks ago. Now I fast forward the chart to November 9th. Notice that Netflix did exactly what we thought it was going to do. It came down to right at 250 or the green 50 exponential moving average. However, the problem with our position is that it actually doesn't expire until December 16th. So although we had a couple hundred dollars per share in profit on November 9th, I decided to stick with this trade and let time decay eat away at the value of all the options. Now fast forward the chart to today, November 21st. Notice that after finding support around the green 50 exponential moving average, Netflix advanced to 310 per share 
but found resistance there three days ago. Over the past three days, it's been coming down and today it closed at $285.48 per share. So it plans to most likely close this position out in the near future. Unless something unexpected happens, Netflix will possibly come down to retest the green 50 moving average again for support. If it does, even though it won't be our max profit, I might close this position out early. The reason is that Netflix support is now higher than the 250 ideal landing spot. That green 50 moving average is now around 265. It's also recently made a higher high at 310 per share, as well as a higher low around 250 per share. So if it continues in its overall upward trading channel for the next several weeks, it won't end up around our ideal strike price of 250. As you can see here in our portfolio tab, this position is currently sitting at a profit of $228. If Netflix price continues to decline, this profit will most likely go up. Overall, even if we can't reach our maximum profit of $20 per share, this is a trade that I'm very happy with so far. It's a position I consider to be very safe, but it has an extremely high probability of winning and a very low probability of losing. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Netflix could skyrocket tomorrow. They could turn into a losing position for us. You'll have the benefit of seeing what happens in the next coming weeks. But this is a nice example of a trade that I like to do. There's a high probability of winning and a low probability of losing with the possibility of a big win. Do we always win as option traders? No, we don't always win. But we're able to structure positions that give us a high probability of winning all while putting cash into our pocket every single day? The answer to that question is yes. Here you see the net cash we put into our pocket by using our upgraded version of the optional strategy in October of 2022, a couple months ago. As a result of buying and selling options, we put a net of $21,485 cash into our pocket. However, as you see in the red box, we use some of that cash to switch one of our cash secure put option positions over to a poor man's covered call. So we bought back the cash secure put option in KLAC for $5,765 and also bought the Leaps call option for $8,885. That came to a total out of pocket cost of $14,650. If you add that $14,650 to the $6,835 that we pocketed, it produces a net of $21,485 we made last month by selling options. Commission cost is $125, data fees were $32, we received $801 in dividends, and we were paid $467.04 in interest by interactive brokers. So in all, we produced $22,594 cash for our account. If you run that return based on the approximately $1.1 million we had at risk, it equates to a 24.2% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. If you're curious about what the return was on the margin requirement of $136,740, it equates to a 195% annualized return on margin. If you'd like to see all the trades we did last month in this main ops trading account, I post that monthly statement for everyone to see, patrons and non-patrons, on my Patreon account. The link is in the description below. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades like the ones I showed in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron at that same link in the description below. If you'd like more information on how to use butterfly trades to generate awesome cash flow in return, like the trade I mentioned in this video, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled Risk-Free Option Trading. Is it possible? Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.